from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. So we've got not one, not two, not three. But four. Premium Kaisers <laughs> to look at today. Yes, we do. Yeah, these are all 2020 releases. Mm -hmm. All pretty new. Yeah, pretty new. There's some knives that have actually come out since then. Yes. But they're pretty new. These kind of stacked up, so we wanted to give kind of an overview of all of them. Right, right. Before we start on this, yeah, I do want to say. Okay, go ahead. We have a video. Go check it out, guys. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, I wanted to pull on it. Give it away yet? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Kaiser Urban Protector. Yes. That is this device here. All right, go okay, ahead. now I can. It's got a little rust on there. Ignore it does, that. Yeah. Okay. The Urban Protector. Very cool little unique um, self-defense device. Stabbing device. Has actually had a permanent home. In the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> so since doing that video, it ended up in the kitchen. I've been using it as an ice pick. Yes, you've been like using it pretty well. Watch where you're stabbing that I thing. I know, but it has a good feel to it. Yes. Okay, it's magnetic, as you can see. Yep. You could put this to use in a protection type role. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Or as an ice pick. Ice pick. That's, go ahead. That's the way it's been. I, I just, I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it really has been used a lot. I'd rather not smash a, go ahead. Uh, I'd rather not smash a, a bag of ice on the ground. True, yeah. I'd just rather stab at it. It's fun. Yeah. You gotta say it's fun. Okay. All right, let's get to these knives though. Okay. So, uh, actually, you want to do the names? Kobold. Yes. Raja. Yep. Genesis. It's Genesis, <laughs> but it's spelled weird, so it's we don't know. It's spelled G-I. Yeah, so, I, will have, I will have shown them. Okay. Okay, and? The Shamshir. Shamshir, yep. Shamshir, yeah. All right. All premium, all about the same price, they really. They really are. Frankie, I've carried the Shamshir. I've carried the Kobold the most. Yeah, yeah. The other two, I don't know, we'll just give you our impressions. Yeah, exactly. The Shamshir. Trailing Point Titanium Frame Lock. Mm -hmm. S35VN American Steel. I believe that's the same. All of them, yes. Yeah, same on all of them. Very good steel, proven. Cool design. Yeah, even though he's more basic because he's just titanium, mm -hmm. with that trailing point, it just has a little pizzazz to him. Gives just a little pizzazz, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. This one's not too bad for me in hand. I would say this one's probably my second favorite over the Kobold because the other two are just a little big for me. Right. I don't know. I've liked carrying it. I've liked using it. It's a good maximum use of the blade shape. Mm -hmm. And it's a thumb stud, dedicated thumb stud only knife. Yes. Very cool. Good detent. Only right hand carry. On all of these? Nice. Yes. Is it all of these? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's great. Sorry, lefties. Yeah. <laughs> good simple clip on there. Just a single hardware screw. So yeah. it has an inset, a pocket that the clip is built to, to fit into that only requires... Mm -hmm. Well, it requires less hardware in that sense. Yeah. Very good stuff on the Shamshir. Okay, so let's just do a couple little stats on him. Yeah. He is 3.24 inches. 3.24 inch blade. Yep. Um, and $149. $149. Yep. What is the weight on that? Do we know? I don't know, but we could weigh him. Okay. We could do we that. Should. I'm going to say it's pretty average. You're pretty average? Well, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Okay. 3.2. 3.22. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just okay. leave that right out there. We're going to do safety first, blade it towards. Yeah. Towards you. Don't look to us for knife safety, guys. Heck we no. We nope. say that. All right, uh, premium box, you get the pouch, you get some. Cleaning cloth. Yeah, you do get a cleaning cloth. Yep. That's nice, pretty much. Uh, yep. That's the stuff that you guys carry about. Care about. The Genesis. Genesis. G I N. Yes. Genesis. What do you guys think? Does it remind you of anything? I like it. I think it is cool because I. It has that carbon fiber inlay. Or is it onlay? Uh, it's in the titanium, so I want to say inlay, but... Let's show them. People will point it out to us. It's set in there. It could be either. Yeah. Could be either. All right. Yeah, same thing. It's a titanium frame lock. S35VN flipper in this case. Yeah. Big old tab. Nice detent. Nice drop point blade. Excellent construction on all these knives. Yeah, they really are. Worth the price. If you like the design, yes. That one is 155. Okay, 155 again with the premium American steel. Yep. I think that one's cool looking too. He has a good personality. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say it, it looks like another knife 
It looks like the Centros design. A little bit, but you could say that for any drop point, really. I mean, honestly. A lot of drop like, points have that personality, yeah, I suppose. But They do. Yeah. Something I don't necessarily like about the Genesis. Oh, the finger choil? Yes. Uh -huh. So it's a full-size finger choil. That's fine. It does work that way. And, and the flipper being the size that it is, yeah. it comes down. It gives you plenty to grab to. But I just prefer having maximum use of the blade. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Which brings us to the next knife. Okay, but wait, let's see oh, how go much ahead. he wasted. Yeah. I'll hand you an open knife. Okay. What you got? 3.9, almost 4 ounces, a little bit heavier. Yep, okay. No, Blade that's okay. towards you. That's a, that's a slightly bigger knife. Okay, so that's the Raja. I shouldn't say slightly bigger, it's probably more average. Yeah. But the, you've got an insert that doesn't necessarily, it's kind of an extra, right? Mm hmm Okay, the Raja, big knife. Yes, he is big. Check it out, guys. That is crazy looking. What is, well, what is the blade length officially on this knife? It is officially 3.74 inches. Okay, the cutting edge is going to be less than that, probably, what, three and a half? Yeah, something like that. Full-size finger choil, again, usable, and I put my yeah. thumb up here, right? It's it crazy looking. Fits my hand very nicely. Uh -huh. But you know what? It kind of makes it so you have to use it this way. Right. That's Real true. quick, I'll just say what I'm talking about is say you're breaking down a cardboard box, okay? A lot of times your cardboard media can slip down into this choil if you're not using it. Yeah. If you're using it, a lot of times you end up with box cuts and paper cuts. But yeah. anyway, different video. It is crazy long. And what is that? So that's a harp. It's a Warncliffe with some poon. Reverse tanto. The blades. The blade shape is technically. I think they identify it as a Warncliffe. Yeah. Yeah. Reverse tanto modified drop point. What it's else? a hybrid of everything. What else did you say? Warny poon. Warny poon. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of a straight razor. Yeah, it does kind of have that look to it. Yeah. But very narrow here to grab onto, which is kind of yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, it's slim in that sense. Titanium frame lock. Very smooth. Action on all these? Superb. It's probably the smoothest. And that one is the most expensive of the bunch. Okay. Of 159 159 Yep. Okay. They are really close in price then. Yeah, they really, really are. They're all within $10. Yeah. There's the clip. That one has a little bit different looking clip. I've carried this one. I can't say that I've used it much. Okay. There's some cutout. You can middle flick this one. See if I can do it first try. Ooh, yeah. You, you did. Yeah. yeah. It's better with the right hand. Okay. Let me see how much he weighs. What you got? 4.31. You know, could be heavier. Yeah. For as big of a knife as it is. I think it's that slimness in profile. That and it is skeletonized in there. That cuts down the weight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think? The Raja. Am I thinking of the Civivi? Is it Naja or does Civivi have the Raja? It's one of the two. Um, Raja is the Cold Steel. Cold Steel has a Raja? Yeah. Oh, R J R A J A H. This is R A J A. No H. Joe's up there. What? what? Where? Right there. He's a little woodpecker right up there in the tree. Oh, right there? Yeah. Oh, there, you poked it on the other side. Yeah, I see him. Aww. You guys have tuned into the Nature Channel. Yes, we love our birdies, too. Yeah. Aww. Well, I do of, love my bird. It's kind of the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else you got? Okay, I have the Kobold. This would be the smallest of the knives. Yes. On the table. He is honestly really awesome. Okay, I've got some impressions with this knife. I've not carried it yet. Yes, but you should. He's great. What do they consider the blade shape on this? Warren Cliff. Okay, it's a Warncliffe. If it's a sheep's foot, there's something wrong, and he's, that sheep needs to see a vet. Well, he's kind of still a little sheepy. Nice smooth action. Uh -huh. So, no flipper tab on this knife. Nope. What's you the blade to... length, technically? Um, technically, 2.94, so under that 3 inch. Alright, this is more of a middle flicker from the right hand. Can you middle flick this? I don't know. I haven't tried, so let's see. Oh, almost. And you still love this knife? Yeah, there you, you go. Got it. Yeah, you got it? You got it, okay. Can be middle flicked. Mm -hmm. There you go. go. All right. Yep. Can be middle flicked. A little bit smaller, coming in under three inches. Okay. Maximized the use of the blade length. 
Yeah, I just like the sleekness of it, and I know that the carbon fiber kind of adds to that design. It just looks really pretty. You can feel it. You can, but it's uh -huh. it's nice and even. Yeah. Yeah, that would be an inlay. I would. I would. Sure. Oh yeah. Okay. There's the clip. Uh -huh. I like how they brought the clip right out to the edge of the frame. Yeah, it is. It's very clean all around. It is. Yeah. And I just like it because it's a little bit different style than, you know, than I'm used to. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Come I on, can you do can it. do it. I can do it righty. Anyway. Come on, just grunt to it. I'm not going to grunt. It's not a grunt style knife. It's one that I would end up throwing. <clears throat> All right. I grunted for you. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. The Kobold with a I K. I like it. Yeah. Pretty and sweet. And this one retails for $149. All right, and again with the S35VN American Steel. Yeah. It's proven, it's good, it's got excellent edge retention. Somebody was just asking me about that the other day. Yes, excellent edge retention on S35 uh -huh. while still maintaining a reasonable amount of corrosion resistance. Yeah, they're not superior good... that way, but they're they're reasonable. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. How much, oh, he's gonna be, of course he's gonna be the lightest. But, you know. Should be, yeah. Okay, that's just. What you got? 3.12. Yep, okay. Yeah. Honestly, feels lighter. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll put these down as some of the newer Kaisers, as in the 2020 releases, depending on when you're watching this. Maybe yeah. you're watching this in 2024. True. If you are watching this anytime, thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Hit that little bell, bell. thing that's down here somewhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. And check out the Urban Protector video. Just know if we don't mention it, Ice Pick. Ice pick, yes. Ice pick. All right. We'll put links into Blade HQ where you can get them. We appreciate when you use those links. Because mm -hmm. uh, it basically, Frankie. It helps us um, add to our collection. Get more knives. And feed our addiction. Right. And, you know, we like to keep on the giving path, too. Yeah, there is a check for the occasional giveaway also. Mm -hmm. Occasional as in almost weekly. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um... Which one's your favorite? Oh, yeah, I guess we should do that. So, I like, I like all of them. Yeah. I like this one in appearance probably the most, and I tend to like smaller knives, but when it comes to actually using, yeah. I have used the Shamshir. Uh -huh. It's a small, smaller blade, as in you can have larger blades right, for sure. that one's huge. But they maximize the use of this blade, and it's really yeah. nice that way. It'd be cool if they had a, this little bit of carbon fiber in here. I'd probably go for the Shamshir. Yep. Frankie's gonna go for the Kobold. Of I already he know. Go it. for the Kobold. Both of these are very nice, though. Yeah, they so, are. I do like this one a lot too. I really do. I do. It's just very simple, and I like it. Yeah. Well done. Good stuff yep. from Kaiser. Excellent knife for the price. Check them out. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Check it out. Not one, not two, not three, but four new Kaisers. You know what I have to say? Go ahead. Why is it whenever we start doing a video, a plane has to go overhead? Uh, that's just what they call, I think, Murphy's Law or whatever. Just timing. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Plane. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Plane. <laughs>